my first experience with this was with cancer patients before I actually knew what was going on with the patient. So you would have came to me, just like you went to Delacroix, and said, hey, I'm having these symptoms, and both he and I would do the same thing. Like, well, if we take all of this material out and do your own tissue reconstruction, we're pretty comfortable that all of those symptoms are going to resolve because when you replace uh, a foreign object with like tissue, genetically compatible material and revascularize it, provided all of that is successful, which in his hands and, and mine were usually above 95% successful in those situations, all things being equal, everything resolves. It really was remarkable. But so then, you know, you, you kind of like, well, okay, that that was one and done. And then a few months later, I had a patient come in and she'd had her, she hadn't had cancer. She just had implants. She had implants removed two and a half years before she came to me. And she was like, I'm convinced I'm still having issues. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay. So we did the usual workup and my usual workups are really quite in depth anyway. And I just didn't find anything. So that's when I sat down and I created that little algorithm of what are all the potential areas you could have a problem with an implant because I I believed her. She was um, very, very intelligent. And she's like, I know it's my implant. She was having all these weird burning sensations. And I think I even mentioned this in the TED Talk. And she was super fatigued, couldn't even get out of bed some days. And so I just started systematically going through checklists. And at the time, there was a lab test that we could do. It's no longer available, which is really a shame. But it showed if there was tin in the blood. And when I got her results you back, the tin was through the rough. That's what huh? you showed in the talk. You're, the yes, tin yes. In the blood. yes. There was tin in the blood. And, you know, the and that test was a, a micro test. So it was, they could actually detect minute amounts. But it was actually quite elevated. 